agency building in Brookhaven. Yes, I'm not even kidding. We're going to be looking at it today because I have found traces, a way to look at the old agency building. Now, it's not what you expect, but it's still better than nothing. Uh, because, guys, this has been an ongoing mystery for a long time. Now, as many of you know, well, before we dive into all that, hit the like button on this video. We need about two, three, four, maybe even five likes. So hit the like button and be blessed with like five years of good luck. I mean, I think it's a pretty good deal. If you ask me, guys, get your rosy shoulder pet. If you haven't, she's cute. She's adorable. And uh, she can follow you on your adventures. Go get it. Type in Rosie the Cat on Roblox. You'll probably see it. You can get it. It's pretty amazing. Get your rose goodie too. Anyways, guys, let's get on with today's video about the agency building in Brookhaven. Now, many of my investigations have been conducting around the idea of the agency and some of the creepiness that surrounds the agency and what they're exactly planning. From Operation Redriver to much more complicated stuff. You guys know this is the place to be. We look at all things Brookhaven, investigating concepts, everything. We really deep dive into this stuff. And for some reason, I have never took it upon myself to look deeper into this agency building. Now... I've scanned all of Roblox, all the experiences on Roblox to try to find a game that had an old version of Brookhaven that had the agency built. I can't find it, dude. It's a ghost town now. You cannot find nothing regarding this. It's almost like it's been completely erased from all of Brookhaven and Roblox entirely. However, thankfully for us, Someone calls some evidence. Anyways, guys, the old agency building used to be where the daycare was, and we could see that even in the movie that's played at the theaters. In the movie at the theaters called First Contact, it shows the agency building and all the craziness that surrounds that. Now, if I could get my hands on the early, early version of Brookhaven that had the agency building so I could go in myself and look at all the secrets, whew, it would be amazing. But anyways, it used to be here. Now, oddly enough, the gravitation room uh, that was added through Operation Redriver and the teleporting and time traveling myth that all kind of just started out of nowhere is right underneath this area near the pool. Also, pretty much right underneath the old agency building. So, Brookhaven has a lot of history and a lot of hidden history for that matter, and it only seems to get more interesting with each and every update. So, let's actually take a deep dive into this agency building from what we do have on it, shall we? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Oh, and a real quick plug, guys. Here's Rosie the cat that I was talking about a little bit earlier, the shoulder pet that you guys can get. It's pretty amazing. She's just so cute, guys. And every purchase gifts the real Rosie that you can see over on Instagram at totally not ONG. It gives it gifts her a treat. So give Rosie a treat. Go get the Rosie shoulder pet, okay? Okay, so she's shaking her head, yeah. So when I type in Brookhaven Agency Building on YouTube, we get this one video here by Little Rob TV 11 months ago, guys, 11 months ago. He, he's probably role playing. He, it looks like it's implying I was an FBI agent in Roblox, Brookhaven RP. So this video is very interesting because it's the only video that I really know of that this guy was making videos on Brookhaven before any of us, right? Like he's, he's a pioneer to this guy. So shout out to Little Rob TV. Um, he has footage of the old agency. You can tell by the thumbnail right there, uh, this is pretty big stuff, right? I mean, just by looking at the thumbnail, you can tell this is big stuff. So what I wanted to do was quickly scan a few parts of his video so we can actually deep dive into what the agency building looks like inside and out. So let's do that. Right here, guys, if we pause it, we can see this is so different, guys. This version of Brookhaven looks so different. I don't even know where to begin or what to say. Like, it's clearly Brookhaven. It's just such an early version. Look, the, 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 the agency building right here, the car, exactly where the daycare is, guys. Let's just click play here and look as he goes inside, dude. This is crazy, guys. Can you imagine? Look, it's like two stories. It's got the agency logo plastered everywhere. It honestly, look, you can become a SWAT member, right? It's like the, it was like it was the only, like, the police station of Brookhaven, right? But no, it's the agency building. Look, there's the FBI director. There's the bomb division squad. There's so much stuff just in this alone that we never got in normal Brookhaven again after they removed it. So the agency has high, uh, the history behind the agency, cybersecurity even, you know, with all the hacking. Dude, this is major stuff right here, guys, and it's exciting. Look at it, look at it, look at it, dude. Brookhaven used to be so different. Now, if we could skim through some more of this, 
Let's see where he is. He's back outside. He's putting down some cones because this is obviously a place of investigation, guys. A very deep place of investigation here. So if we look around, look at the motel. Everything looks so different in Brookhaven, but you can t still tell it is Brookhaven for what it is, even though this, you, th this is such an early version, which could actually prove to be uh, interesting in terms of concepts that could lead to the idea of what Brookhaven may return back to at one point in time. They may add some stuff here and there that they did once have. We got the burger barn down there. Uh, Rotten Robbie, it looks like. And uh, yeah, so I mean, this is and this is why everybody was so happy about the auto shop update, guys. The auto auto shop update happened, and everybody was so happy that they brought it back, right? So imagine if they bring the agency building back or something in regards to this that really just elaborates on the whole idea of it more it's definitely a possibility i mean what do we have here wow we got houses all the way out here dude this is cool that he's actually giving us through the map here look at this there's the is that the auto shop right there i think that's the auto shop right there guys you see that right there the auto shop actually used to be in a very different location beside the bank actually so it's cool how they're rearranging the map to be more appropriately fitting for brookhaven and what brookhaven is uh, but it, it's really nice that they did add the auto shop back and everything like that but anyways guys as you know little rob tv Thank you for making this video 11 months ago. Who would have thought 11 months in the future, I'd be looking at this video being like, you got the most exclusive content around. Uh, but yeah, shout out to little Rob. He's only got 4K subscribers, guys. You gotta get him up a little bit. But uh, yeah, yeah. So it is now night time and I got Rosie, but <laughs> we gotta go look deeper into this. So as you guys could tell, the, 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 the visuals 11 months ago of Brookhaven, you know, it's funny because a lot of people like travel to Brookhaven in the past and they show like Western times or they show like an older version. Maybe it, honestly, it only dates back to like the, the Christmas map or something, right? Uh, which is definitely not the early, early Brookhaven. So, uh, it's really cool to see a map like that because I think what, like the, the auto shop was like right there or something. Burger barn was there. I don't even know if we had a grocery store for that, but no, no, no. The auto shop was near the bank over here, right? The bank was like over here and the auto shop was like right there where just a tree and a trash can is now, which is just crazy, man. Like, I really had to make a video covering this today because it's such a big part on what we're investigating with the agency and everything trying to uh, reveal the mystery. Um, because yeah, guys, I like to do role play sometimes. I like to look into this, but I like to also just look at the real mystery, the hidden uh, gems in Brookhaven, you know, the secrets, everything is that, uh, and, uh, that's why, like, aside from roleplay sometimes, I like to look at the, the stuff that's, like, really going on in Brookhaven, you know, like, stuff that we can all stand behind and be like, wait just a second, that's a bit weird, we need to figure it out, so let's go back in here for a second, guys, and just look a little bit about the whole agency, so, scaling all the way back to the times when we had, we, we seen, like, the agency building and everything, there was a lot more roles, the bomb division, the, the FBI director, which is what we believe Wolfpack is now, I mean, they're really taking the story in a different way, so, if we look in here, there was Operation Redriver, so who knows, back at that time of Brookhaven, Operation Redriver could have been in full effect. Everyone said this time would be different. Nevertheless, history did repeat itself. I cannot pinpoint the power source. However, it looks to be beyond this world. Maybe history will show us the way. And this is the cleanest direct answer we can get. History will show us the way. So just like in this video here, looking back at that, uh, history will definitely show us the way, right guys? Because we can see the old agency building and the old Brookhaven for what it was. And I'm sure that version of Brookhaven was... That's how and where First Contact was filmed, the movie, right? The movie First Contact was filmed around that era and time of Brookhaven. So that means that one agency underground base that you probably see was in the old version of Brookhaven 2, which I've not seen footage of that actually, but I can imagine it actually was. So, you know, we're kind of getting a history lesson here and it's actually really, really effective, right? So let's go here. Bop. Uh, we got power offline. Good stuff, good stuff. Agency experiments here. Bop. Pinpoint here. But uh, definitely going back and looking at the older maps, going back in history, mind you, it, it reveals a lot to us. And uh, that's what's really special about trying to reveal all this and figure this all out. Is the back of this Madison sign always been red? Wait, I don't remember the Lake Madison sign being red, guys. Am I just like tripping out right now being weird or something? Because I don't remember this sign being red, dude. Uh, that's weird. That's a little weird nudge. But anyways, uh, so uh, the next update coming around the corner, we're probably going to see something more and connected to this, more tied to this. You guys know uh, I'm really uh, big on looking into this and finding out more about this. And I want to take you guys alongside the journey as well so we can find out together about it. Uh, aside from you know, the other content that I do on the channel, which you, I'm hoping you are watching and leave the support on, right? 
<laughs> but yeah, guys, so um, more content on the way, of course, as always, we're going to get down to the mysteries of Brookhaven. We're going to enjoy Brookhaven. We're going to look into things that we never expected to look into, and we got cool announcements on the way, and I'm thinking about playing some live topia too i might play some live topia because everybody's like all you do is play broke and i'm just like Dude, shut it we're gonna play something else okay we're gonna play some a live topia or something guys we've got an, another rp suggestion you can let me know and uh i also want to clear this up very quickly in a video too guys uh, i i like doing rp content Brookhaven RP is in the name roleplay. I like doing roleplay content sometimes guys Okay, so when you see a roleplay video you, you, like Annabelle or something you guys are like, oh Annabelle's not actually in bro. Duh, dude. It's a roleplay. Okay. Anyways. Thank you guys <laughs> Some people just don't understand roleplay man. Anyways, uh, so yeah guys with that aside uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have an absolute amazing day. Huh, you start code of